I'm a huge Star Wars nerd. I got all kinds of Star Wars. I got VHS tapes, VHS special editions, VHS not special editions, laser discs, and 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 laser discs. Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace Widescreen Special Edition comes with its own little collectible celluloid. Speaking of celluloid, I also got one from Episode 3. I got the DVD box set, DVD bootleg box set, a different DVD bootleg box set. I got the Blu ray box set, steel books, magazines. Star Wars toys, Star Wars Legos, Star Wars video games. How many times do I need to purchase Lego Star Wars? I got Star Wars lunch boxes, Star Wars pants, Star Wars socks, Star Wars Pez dispensers. I got Star Wars the Clone Wars cartoons. I got the stupid Family Guy parody box set. Why the f do I need this? And after all that, I finally hit a wall. I am tired of Star Wars. Five years ago, I think we all had one collective thought. New Star Wars? Not made by Batman? Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god! Disney, a company that had successfully created the juggernaut that was the MCU, seemed like the most likely candidate to helm a new Star Wars. I mean, after all, they had money, they hired talented people, and to put as thinly laid a metaphor on it as possible, it felt like a new hope for Star Wars. And on paper, well, it was. I mean, The Force Awakens raked in a metric ton of cash. It currently still sits as the fourth highest grossing film of all time. But while the world was in awe at the Falcon's new square radial dish and teary-eyed over the loss of Han Solo or excited about the epic new adventures of Rey, Finn, and Poe, I sat in the corner like a beady-eyed little naysayer. I didn't like it. I was ahead of the trend. I am one of the very few people who, as of right now, I have, I'm going to see it one more time. I'm going to give it one more, you know, real go. I'm one of the few people who would actually say that they didn't fully enjoy the new Star Wars movie. Why, after so many were praising it as a return of their childhood, did I think it was, well, just boring? I made that video one year after The Force Awakens had been out, and I was fully committed to reviewing it. I was intending to use that as my cold opening joke. There were only seven Star Wars movies then. Now there are nine. Eleven, if you count Solo and Rogue One, and only two of them are good. That is a 20% success rate. 